Well, good evening. Uh, this is just going to be a short video. Uh, I wanted to uh, uh, show you these 355C uh, VHF attenuators. Um, these are designed uh, from a DC to 1 gigahertz, uh, and you can see that because they have uh, BNC connectors on them. And BNC connectors are fine uh, for that uh, range. Uh, but these are a step attenuator, and the, the whole point of a step attenuator is that you can uh, come in and select a value of attenuation. Now these are 0 to 12 uh, dB, so I could come in and set you know 4 dB uh, there. And what this thing will do is switch in 4 dB's worth of attenuation inside here. Anyway, these were on uh, eBay um, and uh, they were going for 99 cents, so I you know put a bid in on them and uh, I won them and uh, you know I thought well that's great because you can never really have too many uh, step attenuators. That's um, you know, I have uh, already have a couple of these uh, 355Cs, um, and uh, when I got them, I was able to run them through uh, my calibration uh, routine. And uh, this guy passes, this guy doesn't. So I don't really have anything to lose by opening this guy up to have a look. Uh, and actually, you can see they were owned at some point by uh, Hughes Aircraft Corporation. So. What uh, I'm going to go do is open this up, and we'll take a look uh, inside. But before we do that, let's take uh, let's take a look at how uh, these things work, and we'll do this utilizing our trusty little uh, HP 400F uh, AC voltmeter. So you can see that I have it set for uh, uh, zero volts or the the one volt range. Now. Let's not focus on that. What we want to focus on is the zero dB here, because these meters, if you remember, are also uh, uh, measured in uh, dB. So let me set this for zero, plug this in, and I already have my signal generator turned on. And so you can see that when I plug it in, we basically get uh, zero dB here. And so if I come into here and I switch in 5 dB, you'll see that roughly we drop down to the, the 5 dB level. And so what that lets me do is when I get a signal, I can apply whatever particular uh, dB uh, attenuation to it that I'd like, utilizing these step attenuators. Um, they come in uh, various formats. You can get the later ones that have N-type connectors and SMA connectors and go up to like 50 gigahertz and so on. Uh, I only have the step attenuators that are manual and go to, to 1 uh, gigahertz. So let's take a look uh, inside one. Okay. So here we go, we've got the, the unit uh, here, and it's a bit of a pity because uh, they're both actually pretty reasonably uh, uh, well made. So let's take the top off this unit. And these things in the manual uh, clearly state that there is uh, there are no user serviceable parts uh, inside the actual uh, unit and uh, the reason for that uh, will become apparent when we take a look at the, the bottom anyway here you can see the basic operation that let me get something that won't scratch anything um, the basic operation is a set of little cams and those cams rotate against little switches down down here you can see them there and so when I turn this you know various uh, things are going to be depressed. The rocker switches here will be depressed in and out. So let's take a look at the bottom here and see what they look like. All right, so all the screws are out now. We're ready to take this uh, this off. It's getting a little cold out uh, outside now, so the drink of choice is uh, uh, the hot buttered rum. Anyway, let's uh, pop off the top here and take a look inside. And here you can see now that uh, there are, you know, basically a set of uh, little pi resistors, uh, pi attenuators here, and. Uh, 
the signal is going to come in here and then go into each one of these uh, stages. And those, each one of these stages is going to get switched in and switched out. And they're going to add up um, to be able to make uh, 12 uh, dB. So there'll be a, a 1 dB stage. There'll be one that adds 2 dB of attenuation, one that adds 3 dB. And then the final stage will add 6 dB of attenuation. And now by swapping back and forwards between those, you know, if I want 5 dB, I can bring the 3 and the 2 uh, section on. And you can see that through these little this little camshaft. It's going to bring on the appropriate sections as uh, I switch around to get that, uh, uh, get that value. Now, the reason, and I mentioned this earlier, that there's no user serviceable components, uh, is not just because uh, you know these resistors are, are very special or something, but it's actually this little pieces, these little pieces uh, of uh, metal here. These things are actually bent uh, at the factory to tune the uh, attenuator to get it to to be accurate. And so, without understanding how they tested or how they uh, uh, the the metal reacted with the, the network and what the testing uh, circuits were and so on. Um, you know, it would be very difficult to come in and uh, make changes and then bend the metal to achieve the same goal. And you can see here that, you know, some items have a little bit of metal over them. These guys are bent right down. These guys here are standing straight up. So it was very much a manual tuning process uh, here. And in fact, if we take a look at this guy here you can see maybe why uh, oh no uh, it looks like that's they're all like that hang on let me put this under my scope so I think that white wire there might have been part of the test process you know when they assembled it all together then they had these two wires soldered in, they attached those wires to their test jig uh, and then they did all the bending of uh, stuff to get it all working and then they just cut those uh, those wires off because that's really all they do is just go uh, around and straight through. Now I don't know if my working one has that same uh, thing or not. I don't think there was anything from you know from uh, Hughes that added them uh, but that's the, the basic layout of, uh, of the step attenuator. We've seen how it works and we've seen what's inside it. Hope you found that interesting. Catch you later. Bye.